All right, welcome back. So next display case here, we're gonna have some McFarlane statues up top, and then some Hot Toys on the bottom with some uh, Louis Royo statues slash Yamato USA First, toys. We're gonna start with Woody's Final Fantasy. So I believe the game, or yeah, the game was Final Fantasy X, and it featured three women as the heroes and these are the uh, statues or figures based on the the video game hopefully I can get a shot of these girls it's a little dark in here I apologize just love the outfits um, I believe Shinya Yamashita did the outfits as far as design I really, really love the design of their outfits. Pretty cool. Alright, next we have pretty old school anime McFarlane figures. And here is, I believe her name is Armitage. I could be saying that wrong. This is one of my first uh, anime uh, figures. Really cool. Got the gun in her hand. It's really, really nice. Yep, Armitage. Three. Next, Akira. So, back in the day, I remember I love, love, love this piece. Pretty crazy. Really big. And just a lot of detail. As you can see it's been a little through damage with the nose there, but this actually has been in my collection for a long, long time. So that's Akira. Next, we got Hellraiser. Again, Tom McFarlane, just knocking it out of the ballpark. Uh, this kind of reminds me of Tortured Souls, which was a line that I used to collect. And unfortunately, I got rid of it a long time ago. <sighs> kind of wished I held on to it because I really love those things, but not really the most PG rated stuff when I have kids around. So, all right, next is Freddy Krueger and Kill Bill uh, statues. Here's Uma Thurman's, char Uma Thurman's character. As you can see, it's really nice. Comes with her sword. Next is Freddy Krueger. Now I'm going to zoom into the back here. Movie Maniacs. That was a huge line from Todd McFarlane. And I still have the little poster that came with the figure. Really, really cool. And here is Freddy Krueger. This figure is detailed like crazy. Let me see if I can, there we go. That is Freddy Krueger. Fantastic detail. There we go. You can look at all the details and, ugh, it's fantastic. That's Freddy Krueger. All right, so that completes the top half. Let's go down to the bottom. All right, we're finally made it to the bottom here. And man, my legs are starting to hurt me. <laughs> uh, these display cases are actually on the towards the bottom of the floor here, so it's kind of hard to get in here. Um, but I'll try to do my best to showcase these statues. All right, so first one. Final Fantasy X, yet again. So on the top level, we saw like a 6-inch version. This is more of like a 10-inch version of, um, what was her name, Yuna? I forget her name, but really nice little piece. Again, this was a gift from a friend. Love the detail. And just really, really cool. She's gorgeous, but she'll kill you. Next is 
one of my favorite pieces from uh, Louis Royo, I believe. I want to say. And this is a fantasy figure from Yamato USA. And it's just a beautiful, sultry, like, look at that. Beautiful statue. Um, one of my first pieces that had, like, an amazing paint job. I believe they said it, they applied the paint like ten times to get it to that glossy, textured look. You can see the detail on her leg here. Down to her boot. Really, really nice figure. Alright, next is two of my favorite, favorite, uh, and only Hot Toys in my collection. So, Hot Toys are something I've, I didn't really know about. Uh, I just learned about them maybe a, two years ago. And I got these two because I saw a painting. What painting am I referring to? Well, let's take a look. See that painting up there? I found that and went crazy. I just thought that was the coolest kind of painting ever. You know, you got dad and son. You know, old school Joker with new Joker. And after... Uh, let me get up there. Old school Joker with new school Joker. Um, after I got this uh, painting, I was like, I need to find these figures. They have to exist. And I did find them. And I got them just in time because after I bought these, they sold out. So, I'm so happy. So, we got the Joker 2.0, I believe it's called. And these are my first hot toys. So, you know, it has real clothes. It has super detailed weapons see if we can focus in on that you actually see a face on the dollar bill which is insane the cards actually have faces on them just super detailed I've never had any kind of stuff like this then we get into the Joker look at that face you do not want to mess with him. So messing with Hot Toys, I you know figured out you can move their eyes. Come with tons of switch outs. There's Jack Nicholson. And just uh, the faces are just beautiful. I am the Joker. That looks realistic. Anyway, so those two together. I get the most questions about this when people see it in the painting. They just love it. So, Anyway, hope you enjoy that little uh, zoom close-up uh, video of that. And next we got Angel Spawn. This is the 12-inch Angel Spawn. And it's just a 12 inch version of Spawn. Next, we got another Louis Royo. And yeah, this statue is just so sexy and gothic and just awesome. If you look up Louis Royo stuff, Make sure you're above 18, but his stuff is fantastic. Strong, powerful women, sexy poses. So that is my collection. By the way, over here, this is Shunya Yamashita, I think. I was saying Louis for I don't know why, but anyway. So that is my display for some of Fallen figures and my hot toys in Yamato USA.